So today I'm going to show you the secret to painting successful sky and clouds. I believe the most important factor is the color. As long as you have good color, chances are your sky is going to look great, even if you don't have very good composition. The reason being is because the first time someone glances at your painting, they're not going to notice every detail, they're just going to notice the overall picture. And if the sky and cloud colors match well with the rest of the painting, then their colors are very natural, they're going to look great right away. It is also, of course, important to have good composition, you know, just painting realistic shapes. Looking at photographs is great to get realistic shapes. As far as color goes, I found that warm colors often are more natural and they're just more appealing altogether. Um, not that sometimes you need to paint a blue sky, but I like to go with evening scenes that have very warm colors. Again, looking at photographs to get good colors of sky is also a good way to make sure you have natural looking colors and natural looking composition. This is an evening autumn scene. I've kept the sky and clouds pretty dark to suggest evening time, and I've kept them warm so they will um, match well with all the red and oranges that I'm going to put in the foreground inside the trees. If you enjoyed this video, then please like it. Or if you'd like to get more videos in the future, simply subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. Also, if you're interested in viewing or purchasing any piece of my art or getting some free downloads of some of my paintings, please check out my website at jonathanflickerartist.com.